Hey, what's up everybody? So I showed you an article yesterday, made a video on an article yesterday that was talking about how our country is short on change. That's right, we have a coin shortage and really even a banknote shortage because of the fact that all these businesses were shut down for so long a lot of states had these stay-at-home orders, so people were not going out to spend money. People were forced to stay home and buy a lot of things that they had to buy or wanted to buy online. And even a lot of grocery stores, I don't know if a lot of grocery stores in your area is allowing you to buy groceries online and then go to the store and pick them up. Uh, but I know in my area, a lot of stores are doing that. Um, but here's my thing. I don't care if there's a coin shortage. And a lot of people in my video was talking about how this is a planned you know, thing that's creating a cashless society, a planned event to create a cashless society. And that gives the government a way to track what you are spending. Now, I, for the most part, don't have a problem with a cashless society. Why? Because I have been cashless for quite a long time, for the most part. Sometimes I do have to go to the bank, take out some money, and use cash for certain things at certain places who either charge more to use a credit card or if I have to go to my local coin shop and buy some stuff because my local coin shop unfortunately does not accept credit cards. They did at one point accept credit cards but they were going to charge like five or six percent extra to use it so in that case I would use cash instead of using my credit card. But why do I use credit cards? Why do I, and I'm gonna show you this right now in this video or in just a few moments, how much money I have saved up by using my credit cards. I use two different credit cards and the reason is, is because the bank pays you to use your credit cards. The bank doesn't pay you to use cash. So I use credit cards. When we go to a store, no, no matter what store we go to, it could be a grocery store, you know, supermarket, or a retail uh, clothing store, shoe store, whatever the case may be, a lot of these stores do not charge you extra to use a credit card. Now, there's a lot of gas stations in the area that say if you, they, they have two prices, one's a cash price and one is a credit card price. However, when you go into a grocery store or any other kind of retail shop, usually they don't have two different prices. One is a cash price or one is a credit card price. The reason for that is because they already have everything marked up to include a fee to use a credit card. Now, if you're using cash and you don't have uh, credit card rewards, cash rewards, or some kind of rewards, then you are not getting refunded for using a credit card. Now, a lot of people may, there may be a lot of people who should not use a credit card. People who don't pay the balance in full every month should not be using a credit card because in that case, you're paying a lot more money to the bank than the, uh, rewards that you are going to earn every month. So I'm going to show you right now how much I am saving by using a credit card. All right. So what we are looking at here is my online banking account for one of my two credit cards that I use every single day. Now, this is my cash rewards credit card my other credit card that we will look at in just a moment is my cash rewards slash travel rewards 
credit card. Now this credit card I use every single day, whether I go to a grocery store or go to a gas station for gas or any other thing that I would buy at a gas station. Because as you can see here, I get 3% back. Now you can choose what you wanna get 3% or 2% back on. I choose 3% back on gas. And when I go to the grocery store, I get 2% back on that. So here I have $475 in cash rewards, which I would not be able to get back if I was using cash only by using the credit card. Now here you are getting just a little bit of your money back when you use this credit card. Now we'll go take a look at my other credit card real quick. So this is my other credit card, and for this credit card, I use for everything else that is not gas or a grocery store. Why? Because this one pays a little bit better in rewards for things that are not grocery store related, gas station related. This one here I use, what do I use this card to pay? I pay my utilities with this card. I pay my cell phone bill with this card pretty much everything that I can except for you can't pay your mortgage with a credit card. If I could, I would put that on this credit card too. But so this one here is showing instead of cash, it's showing you in points. And that's because you can use this either towards points, towards uh, travel, airline, hotel, restaurants, if you're you know buying food that is out of state, anything travel related or you can redeem it for cash 2500 points equals 25 dollars so 61,000 points is basically a little bit over 500 dollars so if you combine both credit cards i can redeem about a thousand dollars a little bit over a thousand dollars in cash within about two to three days it's in my checking account then i can withdraw that money go to my local coin shop if I wanted to, put that thousand dollars towards gold or buy silver or anything that I wish to spend that money on. But if I was just spending cash, I would not have, this is kind of like a refund for everything that you buy, all the fees that are included in everything you buy on a daily basis. So this is why I do not use cash for the most part now if i go into a store and they say we are going to charge you five or six percent extra to use a credit card then i'm either going to use cash or most of the time i'm just going to walk out and go to a different store because typically i do not carry cash with me the only type of cash or coinage that i have is in my collection. I collect some coins, I collect silver coins, I collect other types of coins, special coins. There's some some type of banknotes that I collect, but for the most part, I do not. Now, what are other reasons to not use cash? Well, cash is dirty. This is filthy money. This, who knows where this has circulated through. And especially if a lot a lot of people don't believe it or not, and this is why a lot of people end up getting sick, is because they don't wash their hands. And a lot of this money has been circulating through um, panhandlers and, you know, dirty, the filthiest hands ever. So I definitely, every time I touch this dirty filthy money I definitely wash my hands right after and don't touch your face or or put your you know fingers in your mouth or whatever the case may be um, but money is dirty so you not only are you making money by using credit cards and once again just to put a little disclaimer out there credit cards are not for everybody because some people think that credit cards is a way to you know go out and buy things that you can't afford i use credit cards as a tool a tool to make money or really not make money get a little bit more of your money back uh, for the things that we have to purchase 
on a daily basis. So those are the reasons why I do not use cash for the most part in most cases and why I only use credit cards. So my purchases are tracked have been be, have been tracked for a long time. Now, you may say, well, my metal purchases are not tracked. The only way precious metal purchases are not tracked is if you use cash at a local coin shop. My local coin shop does not write down my driver's license number or anything like that. But if you are, even if you write a check or do a bank wire or whatever the case may be to a online bullion dealer, everything that you buy from an online dealer is being tracked. If you log on to any of the online bullion dealers, any of the online dealers, and go into your purchase history, you will see everything that you ever bought from that online dealer going back to, I believe, I don't think they ever erased that history. So everything that you've ever purchased from an online dealer is tracked. So if you do not want metal uh, transactions tracked, then the only way that can happen is if you use cash and do it at a local coin shop where they are not documenting uh, your driver's license, who you are, and that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is why I am already in a cashless society, have been for a long time, um, and all of my purchases are already tracked. Now, do I think it should be demanded that you do it this way? Absolutely not. I think it should be up to each individual how they wish to spend their money. For me, I like to get a little bit of my money back every time I go out and spend money. So let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.